Hi and welcome to Moms on a Mission. If you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button below and also hit the bell notification so you'll know when we upload a video. Grab your coffee. We're going to dig into 1 Thessalonians 5 and I'm super excited about this particular book and this particular chapter in this book because this is about the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and how we as the church need to be awake and watching. But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet the hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Therefore, comfort each other and edify one another just as you also were doing. And we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. Be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn those who are unruly, comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, be patient with all. See that no one renders evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good both for yourselves and for all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophecies, test all things, hold fast what is good, abstain from every form of evil. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read to all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. So brothers and sisters, we need to be awake. Those of us that are in Christ Jesus, we are of the light, not of the darkness, and we need to be sober-minded, and we need to be watching. We are seeing the signs all around us that Jesus told us we would see shortly before his coming. And um, we are supposed to be looking up because our redemption draws near. So we need to stay awake. We need to be watchful because his coming will be like a thief in the night to those that are not waiting and watching for him. I hope this has been a blessing. I know this is a short video, but um, I've got a busy day today, and um, I just wanted to come on here with this um, chapter in 1 Thessalonians because it's just so wonderful and so perfect for the times that we're living in right now. So God bless you, and I will see you next time. I love you. Jesus loves you. Shalom. Bye.